the people that I serve here, these are the, it's the Gila River people, and they are from the Tohonam Atham tribe. And uh, one characteristic of the people here is they are a people of, of joy. That's very inspiring to me. There's, a, there's an inner strength in the people here um, that's very inspiring. They're very proud of their heritage, where they've come from. They want to keep that culture alive. And there is a very deep and a very rich culture embedded in the lives of the people here. And it's seen um, just in their actions and their conversations with one another. I think my previous teaching experience has prepared me in the ways of uh, communicating with my students. That facet of uh, developing lesson plans that are adaptable to meet their needs. Um, when I look at where I taught before, and in comparison to where I'm at now, it's two completely different cultures. I've been grounded much more in community life, living out on mission uh, with my sisters, and really have also learned how to give of myself in various aspects, and then also in prayer. All three of those aspects, there has been considerable growth in the past few years serving in Babeshul. It is a big commitment that I am about to make, and I realize the immensity of it. It does, for me, feel like a natural progression in many ways, although it's a big commitment that's about to take place. It's giving of my life completely over to our Lord, just as He gave His life completely to us, living that for the rest of my life and saying yes for the rest of my life. When I look back, you can see where he was revealing himself in, in several ways, uh, that this is the path that I should be, be following. And um, patience is a good word to use with him because sometimes you wonder if he's run out of patience with you. Every individual going into religious life, it's, it's going to be different. But I know the first few years of entering and, you know, is this where I'm supposed to be? Um, am I doing the Lord's will? Behold him to whom you are espoused. Receive this ring, for you are betrothed to the eternal King. Keep faith with your bridegroom, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Learning how to listen and then just listening to him. And that's really when my call started to come back um, even stronger. And when I came to this community and realized that prayer is the foundation of our lives to honor that own part of my life, that prayer is, is important and vital. But the community sees in you what you don't necessarily see within yourself. And I think there's a trust that goes into that and you just depend on the grace of God and, and he, he's been there, you know, the entire time. I'm teaching right now in Babeshul, Arizona, but who knows where I will be next year. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in the next five years. It's all based on trusting in where he's calling you and trusting in the moment and when you are called to something new, being open to that new experience, and taking that all to the Lord, putting that into His hands, and knowing that He's gonna see you through, and His graces are immense. 
is a life based a lot on trust. For any young woman who is considering uh, entering religious life, a few words to say definitely would be to uh, pray and to spend that time in prayer, to spend that time in uh, silence, to listen to the Lord's calling. Words from scripture and, and even the late Pope John Paul II, to not be afraid. There's a lot of that uncertainty, I think, that kind of goes on when you're making that decision. Am I capable of doing this? Can I leave behind what, what I know to something that I don't know? Because you can't see ahead of you what's going to happen. Junior high girls, let's go in the church. But I invite any young woman to not look at it so much as a fearful thing and that love is leading you. Love is guiding you. Love is before you. He's beside you. He's behind you. And there's adventure in that. Even though you can't see where that next step is going, and love will not lead you astray. Just keeping that opening uh, and listening heart to where the Lord is leading you. And going from there, taking that, that leap of faith. <laughs>